The one thing I've seen is that time flies. You know, you, you blink and the next thing you know this year's gone. Since we've gotten past COVID, we've been able to reach out to the community a lot more and we've uh, incorporated some new things this year. We were able to continue our kickstart campaign, which has been great and, and that's been great throughout Jefferson County. We also um, have incorporated our gaming truck that we take to the different communities. Uh, the, the turnout for that has been great and you know to be able to sit down and enjoy an afternoon with these young citizens. It's also an opportunity for us to bridge the gap between law enforcement and the community and build that trust. Yeah, the Academy, I mean that new building is just outstanding. It's, it's awesome to be able to, to have our own graduations and to be able to, to make it the way we would like to have it. We were able to move in in 1st of January, January 6th, and ever since then it's basically been full most days. We are between the five classrooms by adding these three new ones, we are running roughly 500 plus students a month. We just think it's imperative here in Jefferson County that we do as much active shooter training as possible. Any active shooter situation at a school is going to start with an, a single officer response. We're glad of uh, what we're doing here at Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, dealing with mental issues. It's something we've never done before, and it's something that's new to us, but it's something that is much needed for to serve the public and to serve them at the level that they deserve to be served. CIT has been a massive uh, event that we're looking forward to that that facility finally getting open because it will provide resources for our deputies. They've trained to be able to uh, communicate well and to identify somebody who might be in mental health crisis. We are proud to receive the award of the Crisis Intervention Trainer uh, Executive of the Year to make sure uh, that we understand what goes on in crisis, crisis uh, intervention. We're there, uh, we were proud to receive it uh, in Pittsburgh this year because of the work that we put in uh, and the dedication that we, we uh, gave to it to make sure that we understood everything that is needed and to get our deputies trained. The relationship though with the, the, the kids and our SROs, I think honestly have just never been better. I've been in school resources now, this is my fifth year. Uh, and, and starting, you know, this is the beginning of my fifth school year. And I just, I, I see all of our SROs and every one of them, they're all the same. The reason they do this job is because of the relationship with the kids. I can't even begin to tell you how thrilled I was with the way World Games went. Um, we had no major events and that is massive and that is due in no small part to our deputies and to our uh, staff who was out there working and communicating and uh, building relationships with people from other countries, getting out with our citizens. I, I mean, there were relationships that were forged, relationships that weren't even known before World Games. I received a lot of compliments from uh, citizens that were out there. They said, we saw your deputies everywhere. Your deputies did a great job. We appreciate your deputies. It was good to hear that and it was good to know that the deputies were doing a great job. I applaud my deputies for the great work that they did during the World Games. They were very visible. Not only were they visible, but they were also there to help individuals to get to the different venues that they were looking to go to. For example, in the East Hall, you know, Jefferson County covered everything that was at the BJCC complex, okay? We also kind of, we, we assisted, uh, were co-partners with Birmingham of everything in City Walk. We helped with the Boutwell. We handled everything at Barber's Motorsports. We handled everything at John Carroll uh, uh, High School. We do a lot of work with the, um, the Greater Birmingham Humane Society and it was really important for us to be able to help them because you know, they come out whenever we have issues with dogs they, they are, or animals in particular. Um, they help us keep the animals that are stray off the street and they help us keep that uh, you know, homeless dog population under control. Going into the new year, we're working with some of the municipalities right now to see if we can come together and form a metro jail. That would be a huge project, doing some regional work right here in Jefferson County. And that is something we've talked about for years, coming together, doing something regionally 
And this will be a great opportunity for us to step out and do it. We're excited about it because we do have some of the largest municipalities right here. You know, we're, we're hiring a lot of new people, a lot of young people. Um, and that we can just continue to, to be the, the, the other deputies that are here, that we can be the best influence that we can, teach them the, the best that we can. Every day, people should come to work with the hope to just try to learn something new that day and to also try to be a positive influence on somebody that day. If you can do that, then your day is a success each and every day.